It's difficult to imagine a home off the grid creating all the electricity it needs, but imagine an entire company doing just that, creating electricity for manufacturing. Kirk Matthews has more in tonight's Be Green, too. This vast landscape at Barber's Point includes some 250 containers. Francis Martin converts them to storage units, office complexes, even homes. And he does it without electricity, at least none that he has to buy. There are several levels of authorities I had to go through to get it hooked up to Hawaiian Electric. So I decided, decided just heck with it. Let's just go ahead and make my own electricity. Using photovoltaic and solar panels across this array of containers and buildings, Martin has managed to create enough electricity to power his office. Everything in an office, including refrigerators, freezers, pool pump, we have a little swimming pool because we're in the container business, so we modify containers into housing or into offices, and we offer, also offer a pool, a swimming pool, so we have that as a display. But that's not all. Martin employs 15 people who work on modifying the containers, and solar power runs their equipment. All the fabrication equipment, welding, grinders, cutters, sheet metal benders, anything you can imagine in a machine shop is run by solar. A contractor will come to Martin and tell him what a buyer is looking for. We want to get this and this with this many doors, this many openings. Can you put a glass sliding window and, and insulate it and put electrical and uh, Wi-Fi and all this other kind of stuff in it? And we do that. We wanted to know about Martin's long-term plan for his business. Retirement? <laughs> no, no, I, I just enjoyed this, doing this work, so it's not a question of having to do it or know so much wanted it. I just like doing it and living sust sustainably. It is slightly MacGyvered, but uh, uh, it's worth it in, in the long while. Kirk Matthews, KHON2 News, Hawaii's News.